Oh, this chair. I say it all the time. I need new. Okay, right. Hi guys, I'm Rianne Edwards, a young adult paranormal and fantasy author, and today I'm going to talk about Q2 goals. Before I start, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you as a new viewer. I do talk about tips and hacks and sort of my goals and writing journey and writing life and I'd love to see you here again. Okay, but for now, let's talk about Q2 goals. So, I know a lot of you have actually asked me after doing all my HB90 videos, what are my actual goals for Q2? So I thought I'll share my goals and then sort of at the beginning of Q3, I will sort of have a little bit of a debrief on how Q2 went. You can sort of see that progress. So as you probably know by now, or if you don't, I follow the HB90 method. Um, and this has just been an absolute godsend. Um, please go and check out my other videos on it um, because I wouldn't be where I am now and the progress that I've made without this, without the HB90 system. So I've just realized this is, for Q1 because I haven't wanted to mix up my Q1 planner with my Q2. So let me just go and find where I've put my Q2 planner. It's in a very safe place. Or oh, I don't know where it is, so bear with. That didn't take long, I was sensible. So I have put my planner in um, a folder with all my post-it notes for my Kanban board because <laughs> sometimes I can be sensible. It was last quarter where I sort of changed up my goals a little bit. I was focusing on like a monetary goal, but that was very difficult being in like my first year or so of properly writing. So what I've done is I'm being, because I took part in the HB90 course, I'm part of the HB90 Facebook group and lots of people there and Sarah herself gave lots of ideas for authors who are just starting out or who don't have like money goals per se right now and so I've utilized some of that feedback to sort of work a goal that I think works for me. Now it's not as the first goal is always a writing goal and it's not as sort of concrete or as measurable as perhaps I would like it to be if it was like a monetary goal but I think I'm so I'm still so new and I'm still trying to make this like a workable business for me as well so I think right now I'm trying to work towards goals so, so bear that in mind so I'll put it up on the screen as well so my first goal is to work on my writing projects to move me towards a financially stable income now again that's not that measurable but I will know if I have been succeeding that. So some things that I've got in my head are things like consistent sales, making sure I'm making sales. Um, but what I mean by that is I'm trying to be more consistent this year. So I had less sales in February than I did in March, but overall I have averaged out so far um, because I'm filming this just towards the end of March. So I've averaged out at the number that I wanted to make each month and that's without having any new releases. So I feel like I am making progress in that area. So things like working towards my um, my free short story coming out in May to my newsletter subscribers, go and check that out if you're interested. I'm also working on a special edition book where I'm putting all three together along with some bonuses and a novella as well. Um, so I am working towards that and then I won't be working on it this quarter but then I'll also be then working on my fantasy series, my Forbidden Romance fantasy series that I'm writing which I am so in love with and I can't wait to focus all my time on it but for now I want to focus on the bloodline stuff and work on that. So that's what I'm doing for goal one and I know that is such a wide goal and it should be more measurable but again there are lots of people who are just at the starting point and putting a monetary goal in place was just almost stressing me out because I wasn't making it and then I think I was making bad decisions based on that whereas now I'm working towards something so as long as I can see progress and I am trying to note down that progress then I think it's working. 
So over the next three months, under that goal, I'm going to be um, doing some proofreads on the existing three books ready to go into the special edition, but also so I can update those books and update the front and the back matter and actually get the third book out as a paperback too. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of work. I'll also be this quarter um, finishing off and uploading my free prequel short story because that's going out in May, as I said. So it's currently with like beaters and critique partners right now I've also just got the book cover back for it because even though I know it's my free book I wanted to put it onto like book funnel I think and have people download it and sign up if they would like to read it and this book cover honestly I think it's the best book cover ever so definitely stay tuned for that because I will reveal that soon um I also want to be working on those extras that I'm putting into the special edition. So I've got things like alpha reads, beta reads, editing on all those things. I then got writing my novella. So I need to finish my novella and I'm hoping to like get that beta read as well in this quarter. I almost want this quarter to finish up all the stuff for the special edition because it takes so long in the process to try and actually get it published I'm hoping to publish it in October and I know that seems like a while away but I want to finish up the writing and drafting of all the stuff for the special edition by the end of this quarter so there's all that I've got all my flash fictions that I'm doing so I'm taking part in a, a with a group of other authors on Instagram and we're writing a flash fiction story on a new creature every month um, I've also got some blog posts here to write as well and then I've got things like formatting and blurbs and things like that so this side is all my writing projects and tasks I hope that's sort of clear right so goal number two then is usually centered around my social media now I know some people don't have this as a goal but I'm still so I still class myself as really new but I'm still trying to get used to everything and I need it as a goal and I need it as a focus so I get those projects and tasks done because I think a big part of being a writer is being a marketer and promoting your work so social media is actually a big part of our role as it were so goal number two is to do with social media and it's to grow a more engaged and active following on social media and then I do have some numbers here the numbers are here just as sort of like something to aim for it doesn't matter if I don't necessarily get that but it's just like that aim and I I love Sarah Cannon's um good better best goals so it's sort of like a three-parter so to grow more engaged and active following on social media so followings on Instagram I have got 850 900 and then a thousand so that so my my good goal would be 850 I'd love to get there by the end of this quarter my better goal would be 900 that would be really cool and then my really good goal be a thousand and that's my goal for sort of the end of the year so as you can see I've not got a massive goal for this I know it's a number focused goal but the main thing is engaged and active social me um, media following so I've got an engagement increase percentage here of 50% 75% and 100% I might be overreaching with even just the 50% but I've got it as like a goal to like achieve so I will what I'm doing in my goals journal is I'm tracking what posts do really well and what reels do really well so that I can then repeat that almost not repeat obviously exactly but that's the sort of thing that's working so that's the content that I need to do more of I've also got a TikTok one on here because I have recently started TikTok for now I'm just sort of like dipping my toes in putting over the reels that I do on Instagram but I'm keeping it very book focused so literally just just about my books rather than all like the writing life and everything else I'm really keeping it like dedicated to that and experimenting with that or I'm hoping to experiment soon so what I've done for TikTok I think at the time of recording this I'm at like 37 or something so my aims for numbers right now because I'm still not used to like the likes and, and stuff like that on TikTok is to get 50 followers a better one would be 100 followers and a really good one would be 150 followers. I'm hoping this quarter I get a little bit more used to TikTok and go towards that engaged and active following. So next quarter I'll have, um, probably have another 
number set under there about likes because that's all about the interacting. And of course it is hard to, to say necessarily how much engagement I'm getting equals book sales but I have noticed I got a handful of book sales after I started posting on TikTok so I do think that is linked. So all these pink post-it ones here that's just um planning the week of social media so underneath that I'll have like making reels making my posts up and then what I am doing at the moment is I've got a um like a document on my computer that during these three days that I spend working I write down what I want to post so my my what is it the, the comment no I actually write out the post so that I can then copy and paste it when I upload. I am trying to upload in person, so not scheduling, um, but I'm still not twig the best time. Some days I do really well posting like between one and two, and then other days like I don't do well at all. And some days I do really well posting like between five and six and other days not. So I'm still working on that. I'm still testing it. And that's a little bit what social media is about is testing those waters. So goal three is now my YouTube sort of goal because it's quite new. It, well, not that new, but it is still new to me in my head. So, and that's just to grow my YouTube channel. So I've got um, my good goal will be 400 subscribers. My next goal is 500 and my best goal will be 600 for this quarter. And I've chosen that because I like being creative in a different way. And I want to sort of utilize that a little bit. And I've been really enjoying my YouTube videos. So why not? Um, and these are some of the video ideas that I have. I was putting dates on them, but I switch things around a lot depending on what's going on. Um, I might also experiment with putting um, a couple of videos up a week. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but the more I get used to something, I want to sort of add on another layer. That's not to say I want to keep piling on, but I want to keep growing and... I think this will be a good way to grow because it will help me get quicker at producing the videos because the editing takes me a while. Um, so yeah, do you want a quick sneak peek at some of the video ideas I have coming up? So I've got my writer hacks and tips um, series. I've got mistakes I made writing my duology series and that'll cover mistakes I made sort of in the planning, the drafting, the editing and also the marketing and promotion side of things. That's going to be a whole big series of videos that I know a lot of you are interested in. I'm also going to talk about like tense changes in stories because at the moment, well no, Bloodline Alliance is written in um, a close third person perspective, past tense. And at the moment, my YA fantasy is written in first person, but get this, present tense. And I'm unsure to keep it present or move it back to past. So we're going to talk about that. Um, I'm also going to do like some behind the scenes stuff and some day in the life stuff so you can see sort of what I get up to, a q and A. I. I'm going to have some special guests coming on board and um, obviously then planning for Q3 as well. I've got lots more as well, but I don't want to like tell you everything. That would be spoiling it. So those are sort of the things that I'm working towards this quarter. There's a lot of stuff for the Bloodline Alliance, um, things that I'm doing. And of course, the Bloodline Alliance work and the writing work um, and those blogs and the flash fiction, they take up a big chunk of my time because that's the writing focus. And the next big chunk is like my social media and my YouTube. I suppose I could lump them together because... YouTube is like social media in a way, but I just sort of want to keep it separate for now because two very different creative processes and needs that go into those things. Um, but yeah, they're my goals for Q2. I'd love to hear what your goals are if you have them for Q2. So let me know down below um, and hopefully we can all encourage each other and complete our goals and achieve our goals. So until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.